So basically, yeah. So basically, yeah. I never thought I would have to be making this video in 2020. So today, obviously, as you do, I was just going to the shop and you know what's the matter? Like, I'm not even angry, I'm just disappointed that I thought things would change, you know? The beef between my people and your people, like, I, I just don't get it and I, I don't know why I had to go through this. Like, I am who I am. I, I, I was born this way and I don't know why people like to judge me on the way I am and who I am, but I just feel like something needs to be done this actually happened in stockton on tees it's also happened in middlesbrough and it's also happened in newcastle but today i just drew the line so I, I was walking to the shops you know minding my own business and then obviously a lot of people were just staring at me and i know i'm not the best looking of guys but i don't think i attract that much attention like am i ugly am i a freak i, I don't know and everyone was just staring at me, looking me up and down with disgust and like, like really? I, I walked into the shop, the shopkeepers, he, he wasn't as bad, but I'm in the shop. People don't even want to be within two meters of me. Yeah, I understand because of coronavirus, but they went within two meters of other people. And it's like, what makes me different? Is it because the way I am? Like, after all we've been through, all these thousands or millions of years to get here and we're still like this what was it for like all the pain and suffering and the work we've done to get to where we are and it looks like it was for nothing for me to be treated like this outside in the public eye and the crazy thing is other people were condoning it you know what i'm saying two people started laughing at me looking at me with disgust like Ugh. and then other people joining in i was like yeah look at him scumbag like I i'm not scum like what have i done to you it it i was born this way this is how it's deeper than just i didn't choose to be like this you know what i'm saying and i, I just I, I don't know if i can keep going like i don't know i don't know it's it's even hard to talk about. i don't even know where to go with this but how can I just be walking to a shop minding my own business to go get a bottle of coke and I have to go through all this oppression all this oppression just because I'm a Man United fan I was wearing my shorts a Man United shorts and I get treated like I'm some sort of villain some sort of alien I don't do that to other fans Newcastle fans Middlesbrough fans Hartlepool fans why I don't treat you like that so why do you treat me like this huh why this needs to stop, you know. I was born this way. We've had our differences, but why can't we come together in these tough times? I just don't get it. I just don't get it. But I think you need to take a deep look into yourself. And just because I'm a Man United fan doesn't mean I'm scum. I'm a good person. Okay, I'm an av Okay, I'm a person. Look, and the thing is, we have common enemies. Like Sunderland fans, we can both hate them. Don't put your hate towards Man United fans. Sunderland fans, that's where we should be directing the hate. They're the bad guys, you know what I'm saying? I, I just mean, look at their players. Adam Johnson, ew. And not even Sunderland, Liverpool. Even Corona said no to them. They were gonna win the league and even Mother Nature said this can't run. So stop hating me. Put the hate where it's deserved to Liverpool and Sunderland fans. Actions speak louder than words. So let's come together, everyone. So I want you to comment down below which team you support and if you're part of this alliance. Yeah, well, that's my two pence. Comment down below what you think. Did I deserve to be treated like that just because of the shorts I wear?